Hey, vapers and YouTubers, Trizit Vapes coming at you on the 11th of December. It is really late. I slept all day. This video won't drop until the 12th, but I made it on the 11th, right around midnight. So, letting you all know. Sorry for the prolonged break on videos. I took a wipeout on the ice several days ago, and it pushed everything back about a week. Just really sore, tired, sleeping a lot. Today we got a video review for some e-liquids. We have liquidvisionvapor.com where you can buy three, get up to three free, and free shipping. I'll put their link in the description below. Uh, today we are going to review Sweet Coffee, which is like a cappuccino type flavor in my opinion, and the Midnight Rider, which is one of my favorites. It is a breakfast e-liquid. So we're going to start off with the coffee, right? You start your day off with coffee. All right, just because I just woke up and it's like midnight doesn't mean that uh, I can't start my day off with a little coffee. Speaking of which, cheers, everyone. Uh, here we go. The sweet coffee is definitely a very sweet flavor. It's got a very deep coffee flavor. Uh, to me, it tastes just like a bottle of Starbucks cappuccino that you would buy at any gas station. The one with the green lid. Maybe they all have green lids. I don't know. Well, first things first, vapor production is really good on this. The equipment we're using today is the ELVT by Dofo, running 15 watts through the Mephisto, which is a single 28 gauge nano coil wrapped, wrapped uh, I think it was like 12 or 13 times, and it has an organic cotton wick. It changed a few days ago. Uh, I haven't been vaping real heavy on this. I've been rocking what I call the Dark Lord. It is the Panzer with the uh, Dark Horse. So, let's take another puff. I notice that I get almost zero flavor on the inhale. Every time I, I vape this, I get all the flavor on the exhale. Yeah. Roll it around in your mouth. Let it let it coat your mouth, and the flavor really comes through. This particular e-liquid has been steeping for almost two weeks now. Uh, I enjoy it. Like I said, though, it's not my everyday vape. It's a very dark coffee flavor, a very deep coffee flavor with a very intensely sweet uh, cream sugar flavor. It's good. It's really good. Like I said, it tastes like Starbucks cappuccino. So let's move on to the Midnight Rider, which is one of my personal favorites. It tastes like a pancake and egg breakfast. Let's load it up into the atomizer. Shake it up a little bit. This one has been steeping for just over a week now. Um, not including the three days that it took to get in the mail or two days. Um, so, with that said... Heat it up a little bit. Just get it into the coil. Right there. Try not to drip everywhere. Line my holes up, and we're good. So this, this flavor I really like. This is one of my go-to flavors when I'm just waking up or I'm just getting ready for bed. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, and it's got a cool, fluffy... It's not a texture, but it's a flavor, I guess. So normally fluffy is a texture, but I, I can't explain it. It's just, it's, it, it's really, really good. So let's vape it up, see what we think. Good vapor production, and the flavor is just outstanding. It's sweet, like maple syrup. And it, on the exhale, you have this black pepper. The picture I get in my head is a greasy egg on a diner plate next to a pancake smothered in, in syrup. The salt and pepper flavor really shines through after steeping this one for a week or two. Um, I really like it. It's 
it really throws me back to when I used to be a cook at the country kitchen. <laughs> so maybe it's just a memory thing for me, but it, uh, the flavor is just spot on. It tastes like breakfast in a 10 mil bottle, you know, or in this case, a 30 mil bottle. Uh, this was a freebie that I took. Or no, excuse me. This was one of the flavor of the week uh, over at liquidvisionvapor.com, and I took the blueberry menthol as my freebie. So I would highly recommend this one to anybody that is out late at night or really up early in the morning. It's a breakfast vape, but it's still got that late night quality to it. So definitely a good flavor. I'll have some more videos posting later today. I've got a couple more uh, flavor reviews I want to do today. And I recorded some videos from the last two or three days that I just haven't had a chance to edit or upload. So I'll get those out and we'll go from there. But I'm going to take a few more puffs on the Midnight Rider and I'll leave you guys from there. Again, the vapor production on this is really good. Take care, guys. Stay vaping and have a great, great day.